front porch sipping on the rocks Citrus in our beverages Citrus in our beverages Show only the good sides Always pretty smiles are covering our faces You know it is all lies You know it is all lies On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my time to begin with On and on and on it goes Swing it down in life, you know Breathing out there for a minute Yeah Hey, would you rather stay right here? Make everything disappear You can play my favorite song Put your rose-colored glasses on What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear Everybody's business. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? I think I'm the wrong size. Not enough room for everybody's egos. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes. Swing it down and Welcome to some extreme cleaning motivation. Get ready for some extreme cleaning, decluttering, organizing. I'm going to be tackling some gross areas in my home, like my refrigerator was a complete disaster, truly disgusting, and I turn it all around and actually get it really organized and I think actually super cute. So I'm so excited to share that with you guys, but there is tons of motivation in this video. If you have trouble areas in your home that you need to tackle, this is the video for you. You will see so much motivation and you will feel ready to tackle those spots in your home that maybe you have been avoiding. Trust me, I've been there. In this video, I will also be decorating a little bit for Valentine's Day and just adding a few decor pieces to my home. I've been doing some serious shopping lately and I actually have a haul video up on my vlog channel. So if you want to see all of the stuff that is in the corner of my room right now that I'm about to clean up and get put away and organized, then definitely check out that video. But after a huge haul like this, I have to get everything put away. Some of these things are seasonal items like for Easter, so I have to store those. Some of them are clothes for myself, for my kids. I bought a ton of Ray Dunn pottery, which I'm going to use to decorate in this video, but then I also will show you guys where I store the Ray Dunn pottery that is seasonal or that I'm not using at the moment. I like to keep it easily accessible, but still organized and put away somewhere that it is safe away from my three crazy boys 
And if you are new here and do not know, I have three boys, ages 12, four, he just turned four, and 18 months, and I'm pregnant with our fourth baby, which I have been sharing a ton about on my vlog channel, and I, of course, am married to the love of my life. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. I share real life messes on this channel and I know a lot of you guys appreciate my realness and I appreciate you guys so much. I truly do. 90% of you are super kind and encouraging and it really means the world to me. So if you are new, please be sure to subscribe. That would be awesome. So I have been on the hunt for some Ray Dunn organization, and when I found these bad boys, I was so excited. I found them at Home Goods, and they are just these food containers that have really cute sayings on them. They're by Ray Dunn, and when I saw them, I was like, what? This will be perfect for organizing my refrigerator. I love to put like fresh fruit on display in my refrigerator. It makes it so much more enticing and encourages not only my kids to eat it more but my husband and I as well so I was really excited about that we also though have a lot of leftovers in this house and I'm just gonna say it right now I have been pretty wasteful when it comes to leftovers my husband and I have talked about it we're gonna have like a leftover night dinner night and we're gonna just try to use our leftovers more so you guys will see a ton of leftovers that I end up throwing away I don't know what it is I it's probably because my refrigerator was so disorganized and disgusting that I would just forget about what leftovers I had in there but that is no longer the case we have turned a corner and we have this amazing organization in our fridge now there is a place for everything having bins is so important when you're organizing special bins for each items and the same goes for your refrigerator so I'm really excited to share that with you guys and of course though I had to wash them first I put them in the dishwasher that may be a no-no for some people but I'm a busy mom as you can tell so it was just what was easiest for me yeah, we got the summer for it.
this kitchen is cleaned and picked up we can really focus on those problem areas i like to tackle a main area like my kitchen first and the parts of the kitchen that people can see and then once i finish that then i will tackle some problem areas that may be hidden like in our refrigerator not all of these problem areas are hidden but i would just suggest if you are struggling with disorganization or your house being a mess tackle the main areas first and then get to the bigger projects and spend like a day like tell yourself that today i am going to clean the refrigerator i mean it get it really nice and organized you would be surprised how long it can take so let that be a project for the day so it doesn't feel too overwhelming now i was suggesting that the refrigerator is kind of a hidden area like a closet that people don't really see 
but there is nothing worse than when someone opens up your refrigerator and it's disgusting like it has moldy broccoli in it <laughs> and there is nothing better when a guest opens up your refrigerator and it is perfectly clean and organized it just feels nice you know it feels nice for a guest and it really feels nice for yourself when you open up your refrigerator and everything's clean and you can see all of your food that is something that is so important and why i think so many things were going to waste in our refrigerator is i just couldn't see it, it was so disorganized and this happens fast you guys if you don't clean your refrigerator for a month or whatever this is what happens so don't feel bad if this has happened to you trust me it can happen to the best of us there is always a time to turn things around and today is that time or day was that encouraging <laughs> was that motivating i hope so because it is today's the day Go in your refrigerator and clean it out. Maybe it's not as bad as mine. Maybe it's worse than mine, but you can do it. Go open up that refrigerator and if it doesn't bring you joy, clean it up. You said that you needed me Like a cargo, you will carry me
so you may notice some new decor over here i'm just kind of messing around with things nothing is set in stone i really like that cake stand but i'm not so sure about the greenery that i put on it you guys can let me know what you think but I am just kind of trying things out and just seeing if I like them or not. I'm really into fake plants. <laughs> so I'm trying to incorporate that into my home a little bit more, but I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of all the new decorations. So now, of course, I am preparing the fresh fruit and these new Ray Dunn canisters and going to put them away in our nice clean fridge. Ugh, so exciting. That always eyes I can be And he keeps talking about everything that he likes And I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough I'm thinking about him all the time I can get him off to tackle this drop zone area i really wanted to turn this into my like ray dunn collection display area put some decorations in here as well as organize some of the mail that we get so it's just not laying on the counter so that is what i did with this drop area and i am trying so hard to keep it clean and to not just drop things over there oh by the way that's a bunch of pregnancy tests. That was from my pregnancy test progression line video over on my vlog channel. So yeah, I just had like 10 pregnancy tests laying around. No big deal. I added a few Valentine's Day decor pieces, but I would like to add a little bit more and tweak this area a little bit. You guys can let me know what you think, what you might change, or what you might add. Yeah, 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 yeah. Told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it's dark
so now I am working on decluttering and organizing this craft slash homeschool area. This is just an area in our home that gets pretty junky because my little guy goes in here and grabs things. So it gets, you know, kind of messy because of that. But I wanted to add a couple of extra bins. You can see I added those two empty white bins. I think that has made a big difference. I first just had the two ones that are filled and that made a huge difference. And now that I have added a couple more, it really has helped with the organization. It just helps to have these like books and coloring books and things like that just sitting up. And it's a lot easier to kind of sift through them and grabbed grab things so I am really happy with how that turned out I love having the crayons and the markers in their own special bins we also have some of our homeschool uh, curriculum in here of course as Henry gets older as my little guys get older we will need more space when we plan on doing like a whole homeschool room but for now this works for us and I'm really happy with how it turned out so that is it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thank you. Thank you for all of the support. I truly appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.